Alrighty, so this is a brand new flip we just picked up. This is 1950 Parkwood Road. We actually did one down the street, uh, 1965. So we know this area, and uh, this is going to be a good one. So we'll go check it out. It is super big and super outdated, but super clean. So we'll tell you what we're doing. Okay, so this one is super clean. Um, you can eat off the floors. It's just really outdated. So let's check the kitchen out here. We're gonna do an all new kitchen here. We're probably gonna take this wall out, open all that up. New cabinets, countertops, appliances, new tile, um, most likely new tile. I'm hoping to save a few things because this is a big house. But um, come in here and check this beautiful wallpaper out. So, we are going to get rid of this wallpaper. We'll leave the wainscoting and um, we will repaint all this. But this is a nice dining area. Um, there's no overhead light in this living room area. This is kind of, it's pretty typical of the houses up here actually. Um, the light switch runs off the top outlet, like the, it runs the outlets on the walls. But anyway, we'll probably fix that as well in here. We'll do an engineered floor, new paint and all that. And then we have this room over here that is Grandpa's dungeon right now. It's dark and dingy, but we will do a new overhead light in here as well. And we'll do drywall on the walls. We're gonna paint the fireplace white, fix the, uh, the mantle and all that. And then we got a half bath, so we'll update it. Um, I know you're gonna hate to see this toilet go, but that green toilet is gone. And we'll do a new tile, new, uh, vanity, mirror, and all that stuff. And no more wallpaper. So that's just a half bath. All right, we will go upstairs. There's actually some area in the basement we're gonna finish, but we'll go check the bedrooms out first. Okay, master. Boom, look at this carpet. Booyah! Yeah, look at the lines in it. It's all hooked up already. Anyway, get rid of the border, repaint, new carpet. This is a big master. We might keep this, it's new, it looks good. Here's where a big change is gonna take place. Welcome to 1960 master bathroom. Monster vanity, there's a toilet behind there in its own little dungeon. This thing, this is all changing. So this shower is tiny. This uh, shower, take a look at that. Shower is tiny and we're gonna get rid of that. So, um, don't hold me to this because this is day one. Well, it's not even day one. We haven't started yet, but we're probably going to take what the vanity, not this one, of course, but the vanity that we will have in here, we're going to put it in this closet. We're going to take this closet out, basically, and do a double vanity here. Move all the plumbing over, um, bring out the shower, make it bigger. The toilet, we're going to get it out of its own dungeon. So this will be like basically um, totally different layout in here. You'll have a huge, nice walk-in closet inside the master you'll have nice tile here custom shower um new non-cave like toilet area and big vanity so all the bells and whistles this bathroom that's coming up it is uh it's uh not that bad the collars are just real ugly so wallpaper for days <laughs> new vanity we're gonna do a new vanity um and same deal, you know that that, uh, that whatever puke collar commode that is, is awesome, but we're gonna get rid of that. We'll glaze this tub white and we will retile the surround. Um, so we'll, we'll have a new surround in there, retile that. No wallpaper, take out the wallpaper. And new vanity and all that jazz. Bedrooms aren't bad. So these are dark, here's why. There's no overhead lights, the switches run the receptacles. So what we're gonna do is go up in the attic, run wiring for overhead lights in all the bedrooms. But this is one, two, three. They're all the same way. They're big bedrooms, great size. Um, these don't have a ton of work that needs done in here. We'll probably do new bifolds, um, obviously new dark, do, do, door hardware and hinges. Let me slow down. Door hardware and hinges, take off the banner, um, and overhead lights. And that'll fix the bedrooms. And there's the last one, same deal. Rinse and repeat. Darkness overtakes it. But anyway, so let's go to the basement. I'll make those guys turn it out. We got two project managers here. I think they can turn switches out. 
Okay, so there's a two car attached garage and there's also this area that is not finished. Big garage, nice garage. Um, then you walk into, you've got this area that they just never finished. So we're gonna finish it. Boom. We got a big area here, never finished it. Um, even has a fireplace. So we're going to insulate and drywall all this, frame it up. We'll probably put carpet down here and put in the fireplace. We'll put in a closet area for the furnace and the water heater. And you'll have another place to throw your kids. So when they have all their friends over and they want to hang and be loud, you have two floors of difference. So this is your Super Bowl room. But anyway, over and out, 1950 Parkwood, super clean, super big, super outdated. When we're done with it, it's just going to be super. Peace.